The Red Cross says thousands of albino people born without skin pigmentation are in danger in Burundi and Tanzania. Last year, dozens of albinos were brutally murdered in Africa's Great Lakes region. The albino's body parts are prized by witch doctors who use them in ritual potions. VOA's Paul Dio has more on this. Most forms of albinism are the result of biological inheritance of recessive genes from both parents. People with albinism commonly have vision problems and need constant sun protection. But they also face social challenges such as the condition often leads to ridicule, discrimination and even threats and murder. Mike Magowan is a person with albinism and has served as the president of the National Organization for Albinism and Hypopigmentation since 2001. The main characteristic from a physiological viewpoint is a, an uncorrectable low vision associated with albinism. Virtually every person with albinism has some degree of, of vision loss or vision impairment that uh, at this time cannot be corrected. Albinism is a source of social rejection in nearly every culture. NOAA board member Margaret Mary Campbell recalls uh, how she was picked on by some students in her elementary school in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania. There was one boy in particular that used to chase me around and I mean like throw snowballs with rocks at me and I, there were some kids that would pick on you. But then everybody has their own circle of friends and I think this is true for most people with albinism. Their own, they form their own circle of friends and they find acceptance within that circle. The Du Bois family lives in the Washington, D.C. area. Susan Du Bois says she and her husband were taken by surprise when their children, Nick and Katie, were born with albinism. The youngsters say they are coping well socially, but their visual challenges are not well understood. Not, not many people tease me, but a lot of times people don't, don't really know. Like, I mean, a lot of times I have trouble seeing things because people forget that that I, I can't see things very well sometimes. Um, and I also use e sometimes use equipment to help me see, see the um, worksheets better, mm -hmm. or I used to use a dome magnifier. Globally, one in 20,000 has albinism. People with albinism face their threats in parts of Africa. The Federation for the Red Cross and Crescent Societies says since 2008, more than 44 albinos have been killed in Tanzania, and some 14 others have been slain in Burundi, forcing hundreds of people with albinism to go into camps. Mike McGowan says his U.S. group has mobilized to send aid to East Africa. We have uh, begun to organize uh, relief efforts to bring some of the very simple uh, supplies that people with albinism in Africa would benefit from. It's, uh, protection from the sun is as simple as proper clothing and a, a cap with a bill uh, and, and sunscreen. And we're working as best we can to, to collect uh, those sorts of um, materials and get them to, uh, to East Africa. Albinos in Africa have a short life expectancy. They lack simple resources such as clothing to protect them from the intense sunlight that is very harmful for people with albinism. The mistaken belief that our albino parts have magical powers has driven thousands of albinos into hiding, fearful of losing their lives and limbs to unscrupulous dealers. African albinos endure insults, discrimination and segregation throughout their lives. They also have a high risk of contracting skin cancer. Paul Ndiho, VOA News. Now for more on this or any of our stories, please be sure to visit us online at voaafrica.com.